Uh, where is your Heisman Trophy right now? Oh, goodness. Um, it is, well, it just left Luke Bryan's house. It was there, uh, Luke Bryan, the country singer. Yeah. Um, for the probably the last maybe eight, nine years, every year or every six months, I've used it to auction it off for a charity for people to keep in their homes and use it as something that they can, I don't know, brag about. So Luke Bryan, uh, him and his wife, Caroline, who are so sweet, um, they're a big, big part of some nonprofits that we work together. And so he, he and his wife won it. And so then leading up to Florida, Georgia, because he's such a Georgia fan, like he would put a Georgia jersey on it. He would put peanut butter all over it, let his dog lick it off. <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would do all sorts of stuff. And I was like, this isn't fair, right? You know, he's trying to, you know, hurt my husband. So I, I worked with his wife to get one of his uh, CMA Artist of the Year awards, which is, uh, you know, kind of a unique looking award. And so I started getting that and then sending him videos of me using it as like a, you know, uh, <laughs> Sparkling water opener or, you know, uh, a, a jack for a car being able to lift it up. And so we kept going back and forth. And I think the CMAs got kind of upset with it. I didn't actually hurt it. It just, you know, looked like we were using it that way. Carson Palmer joined us and I asked him where his Heisman was. He says, it's in the garage. And I said, well, why don't you send it to me? He goes, all right. So he packed it up and then sent it to me for a year, and I had it in here because he didn't even have it on display. Oh, Carson, come on! You got he, the thing that's awesome is it's such a cool. It is such a cool award that is so prestigious that very few people have ever had the chance to to be around it. And you know, I'm so grateful, Dan. I've had you know, with all the charities we've supported, it's been able to raise well over a million dollars now, and. Like, and just to, why have it in your garage when it can be in someone else's living room? And, and now a lot of kids are being helped with it. And, you know, my goal with that is that it could be the most impactful Heisman one day, not by, you know, sitting on a shelf and us looking at it, by, you know, being on a lot of other shelves and making an impact in a lot of kids' lives. So, Carson, come on, we got to get yours in some auctions for some kids. No, it's a wonderful gesture on your part because – you would think you would want to hold on to that and, you know, keep it in a safety deposit box or whatever. But Well, I got I to gotta tell you how this idea started. So we're at this, um, this gala for, um, for, for soldiers who have lost their lives in battle, and we're coming together to raise money for their kids to give them scholarships in um, Greenwich, Connecticut. And so, you know, that's a wealthy area, and there's all these wealthy people. And Nick Saban has an auction up there. And you know what? I hate losing to Coach Shapin in Alabama. It only happened once, and it was one of the worst days of my life. And so I'm thinking, you know what? I want to help, but I also got to beat Coach Shapin, right? You know, like, we, we got to beat him in this option. So it's like, you know what? What are these? I mean, these people have everything in the world. What's something they don't have? And I was like, oh, I don't think a lot of them have Heisman. <laughs> And Certainly so, not in Greenwich, Connecticut. There are not a <laughs> lot of Heisman winners there in Greenwich, Connecticut. And so I walk up there to tell the host, I said, hey, do you, you think it would be okay if I um, auctioned off my Heisman or if you would auction off my Heisman for a year or something? And he looks at me like, what? Yeah, that'll be okay. And so uh, we did it. And uh, actually, Kathy Lee Gifford won it there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Who else has had your Heisman? Um, well, uh, everybody else that's had it, you wouldn't know. Oh, okay. um, just supporters of the charity. But those are the kind of the two more well people that have won it. Well-known people that have won it. So it's kind of funny.